Do you feel shy sometimes or most of the times? Do you feel self-conscious around some people? Don't worry, I've got your back. Fear of other people is a big fear, but there's a way you can conquer it. Hello everyone, I am Apoorva. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great time. In today's video, I will give you three mindset shifts that you can use to get over your fear or shyness. If we feel shy or afraid or lack confidence, it is because we fear some other people. But there's a way that we can conquer that fear. We can do this by putting people in proper perspective. You feel shy or afraid because you don't consider yourself equally important than you think the other person is. You feel inferior to that person, which is completely wrong. The other person is a human being and so are you. He likes his food, he misses and loves his family and friends. The other fellow is basically just like you. So what's the point in being afraid of him? Next time, whenever you are around other people that you thought you were afraid of, you have to think it in this way that these are all important persons, including myself, sitting and gathering here to discuss something really important. This way, you will never be afraid of anyone. And note it down, if you don't value yourself, no one else is going to either. Your respect starts right from you, by you respecting yourself. Number two, develop an understanding attitude. There are going to be many people who can be harsh to you, can be rude to you, can try to rule you or dominate you. Such people have a potential to dig a big hole into your confidence if you don't have a guard to protect yourself. So make sure that you are prepared enough for such kind of people also. You need a defense mechanism against the cruelty of such kind of people and you can do it by correctly understanding their behaviors. Some people are harsh because they don't get enough importance by themselves, they don't consider them valuable, so they try to dominate others and get the importance. They forcefully try to make things work according to themselves. Never consider a growling man powerful than you because he's actually a weaker guy because his actions are controlled by his negative emotions of hurt and anger. He's such a slave of his emotions that he has lost all control over his actions and his words. He's powerless and he's trying to gain his power through his harsh words. So never be afraid of such kind of people. In fact, understand that why are they doing like that? Show them some mercy because they are in so much problem. It's not your fault. And sometimes it's the bad mood that drives people to do such things. So why are you afraid of it? Third, do only what your consciousness allows. There is within each of us a desire to be right, to be accepted, to be validated. When we do something we feel is wrong, we put a cancer into our consciousness. This cancer grows and grows and eats away all our confidence. So avoid doing anything which will cause you to think, Will I get caught? I hope they don't find out. And something like that. Something that you want to keep hidden. Please don't ever do it if you feel that is wrong. When we do something right, it keeps our consciousness satisfied and we are happy and we are confident and we feel confident. We don't feel ashamed of anything because we know we haven't done anything wrong. And when we do something wrong, two things happen. The first is the guilt that we go through whole of the time after we have done it. And the second thing is that sooner or later you will get caught because that fear will show all over your face and the things will ultimately come out. Benjamin Franklin once said, a good consciousness is a continuous Christmas. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more and fear less. 
So the three things that you need to keep in your mind to get over your fear or shyness are the first one is putting people and yourself into right perspective. Second, getting a balanced view of yourself. And third, doing only what your consciousness feels is right. And I'm damn sure subscribing to my channel will also be right for your consciousness and to build up your confidence because in the next video, I'm going to give you easiest practical tips to boost up your confidence within a second. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get the notification of that video. And do let me know whatever you thought about this video, good, bad, like, dislike, anything, any kind of feedback is welcomed. Please do comment. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.